This is Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregations together on the first day of the second month. So the second month on the first day, they got all the people together, read. And they declared their pedigrees. So their pedigree, their bloodline, how? After their families, uh -huh. by the house of their fathers. Right. By the house of their fathers. Right. So whatever your daddy is, that's what you is. That's if right. your daddy is black, I don't care if your mama white, purple, green, or yellow. You right. black. Because right. you come from a black man's set. Right. That's what makes you black. You just have genes of another nation. Yeah, but you are of your father. How y'all doing? How you doing? What's your name? I'm Pierre. What's your name, man? You don't know your name? How you doing? What's your name? Well, my name is Armand. Armand? I'm going to get a diet. I'm going to get a diet. What's your, uh, how old are you? Uh, 22 years old. 22. How old are you, sir? 19. You're 19? Let me ask you a question. Y'all from here? Yeah. What, what part of the city y'all from? Give me, uh, you want me to What part of the city y'all from? Uh, y'all from the east side? And they you grew up there? Where you go to school at? Um, I went to school um, uh, at Douglas. Oh, you went to Douglas? Douglas High? Right up the street? Yeah, like that? Both. Oh, y'all both did? So well, let me ask you a question. What they teach y'all in that school? Did they teach y'all, okay, I know February they hold Black History Month. What do they teach y'all? They teach y'all nothing, right? Give me a fact, give me Deuteronomy 101. I'm going to show you something past the history that they do teach you in school. Because if I ask you, what do you know about the history of, what's your daddy's nationality? His, his nationality, his race. He's black. He's black, right? Okay, so he's black. And I'm assuming that your daddy is black too. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to show you something. Give me Deuteronomy 101. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Are y'all familiar with the Bible? You, what, what, what have you read past John 3, 16? Not even that? Well, I'm going to show you something. Because this is the thing that they don't teach. This is the thing they don't teach our people. Right. Did you know the Bible was our history book? All right. Did y'all go to church? So, what, you, what uh, denomination? Uh, Pentecostal, Baptist, Methodist. A Baptist church, you grew up in a church too? So let me ask y'all a question. What color did they say y'all Christ was? What? Oh, you did? Okay, give me a revelation one more. Oh, it was white. white. That, that's fine. Come on, I'll finish this real quick. Come around here to this side. Jesus, Come on this side right here. So this is what they told you Jesus looked like, right? In the Christian church, in the, in the church of Christianity, this is what they taught us. Did you know that the Bible explains what Christ looked like? You didn't know that? They, I know they didn't read it. They ain't gonna read it. They ain't gonna read it because this was put here for a reason. That, exactly, that's what they want. Give me that. Give me Revelation one and one. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show y'all what Christ looked like according to the Bible. Because the scripture says, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow living water. So this is how this is how we get the knowledge of God. We actually go to the Bible and read what he said. Because if you want to know something about Jesus, well, you, you gotta read the Bible. Because that's what he meant there. Watch it. Read. One and one. Revelation chapter one, verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So do you know what the revelation means? What's the root word of revelation? To reveal. Reveal. Reveal, reveal means to show. Right? If I reveal something to you, that means I expose something to you, right? If I reveal my deepest secret, you're like, okay, now I know. I'm showing you something, right? So it says, this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Go to verse 14. Watch this. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. It said his head and his hair were white like wool, meaning that hair on his head and hair on his face. Because according to the Bible, men keep beard. It's a badge of, of man. It's a it's man. Uh, right. So he had woolly hair on his head. And on his face. So, when you look at this, does he have woolly hair? Who has woolly hair? What what wool? Let me ask you that. What wool? Sheep, right? So who has hair like sheep? Look, look at your leg. That's the same thing. Look, you know how you you ever had you ever had your fro cut off and they cut it in one swoop? You know how they how they shear the sheep and they and they never pick the flippers up and it's just one that same thing happened out here when we cut it. So it said he had his hair, and it grow back. It said he had hair like wool. Watch this. Read. As white as snow. It was white, meaning what we call today salt and pepper. It'll be great. You see how this brother is over here? That's what it's saying. 
Yeah, it was white. Watch this, read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. They said his eyes were a flame of fire because in Genesis it was prophesied that his eyes would be red with wine. Because it's okay to drink wine in moderation, we just can't drink to get drunk. That was his first miracle. He turned water to wine. Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. So let me ask you a question. If you take your shoes off, are your feet the same color as your arm? Are your feet the same color as your arm? So is it safe to say that if I look at your feet, if you got everything covered up and I see your feet, I can tell you what complexion you are. Okay, watch this. It said his feet, read. And his feet, like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Like a brown, like a penny. Watch this. So his feet was brown. Watch this though, watch how brown they were, watch this. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take a penny and you burn it, what color it turn? Say it in my, what color? Black. It'd be black. Yeah, so Christ was a black man it. with woolly hair, salt and pepper. If he was walking the dirty earth today, this would be a uh, simple, di- yeah, something like this, more like this. This is more of an image of what Christ looked like. Now, we're not saying this is exactly him. It's just a depiction of what he would look like. So knowing that Christ, let me ask you another question. Come to this side over. I'm gonna show you another side. Let me get. That. So what we're teaching is our nationality according to the Bible, because if I asked you what's your nationality, what would you say? Black and white? Uh, ain't no, uh, okay, what would you say your nationality is? Give me number 118. You say you were black, right? So if you would say you were black, what would your land be? Because if you were Japanese, what would your land be? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. If I was a Japanese man, what would my country be? What would be my country? Japan, right? If I was Chinese, what would my country be? If I'm black, where is my country? So why we call ourselves black? That's what we were taught. Why do we call ourselves black and we don't have no country? We call ourselves niggas, but we don't have no country. African American, that's not one country. That's two European men. Leo Scipios Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. We don't descend from them because Caucasian people have recessive genes. They can't produce black people. It takes a black man to produce a black kid. You get what I'm saying? So we don't come from them. So what's our nationality? Uh, we know what we've been told, and, but what have we been shown? We, we haven't been shown anything, we've been told everything. Watch this, you see this sign right here? These are God given names. Yeah. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Naphtali, Asher. These are God given names. But on the right side, you see the names that our conquerors gave us. African blacks, West Indies, Mexican, Puerto Ricans, Cuban. Those are the names they gave us, and those are the nationalities that we adopt. Because we don't know our true nationality. But I'm going to show you what our true nationality is, according to the Bible, which is our history book, the greatest book ever written on the face of the earth. But I'm going to deal with something you said. You said you mixed with everything. I'm going to show you something real quick. It ain't no such thing as me. You might have genetics from other nations, but... Okay, let me ask you a question. How long does a woman carry a, carry a baby? How long does a man carry a baby? Because he's a sperm before he, he's an always, always. So why do they think that they're more of their mothers than their fathers when you come from your father's house? Yeah, you get what I'm saying? You, I have, have you have to give it to the woman. Watch this. How you doing, bro? What's your name, bro? Q. I'm gonna die, man. What's good? You know what we teach teaching? A little bit. We teaching our nationality according to the Bible. I'm gonna show her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show her real quick how we, there's no such thing as a mixed race. I'm gonna show her what a nationality comes from. Give me that. Number one, eighteen. Read. There's a number chapter 1 verse 18. And they assembled all the congregations together uh-huh. on the first day of the second month. So the second month on the first day, they got all the people together, read. And they declared their pedigrees. So their pedigrees, their bloodline, how? After their families, uh-huh. by the house of their fathers. Right. By the house of their fathers. Right. So whatever your daddy is, that's what you is. That's if right. your daddy black, I don't care if your mama white, purple, green, or yellow. You right. black. Because right. you come from a black man's set. That's what makes you black. You just have genes of another nation. Yeah, but you are of your father. You get what I'm saying? Now, 
you, yeah, you got it. Now give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So, my man, so Q, what we teach me is that if I ask you what's your nationality, what would you tell me? Or oh, I say, what's your race, what would you tell me? Huh? You you terminology, yeah, the terminology they taught us. You would be black, right? So like I was explaining to my man right here, where's your land at? If Japanese got Japan and Chinese got China, Russia got Russia, what's 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 black? Right. Africa, those are Africans. And we did, we came from that landmass, but you know before that landmass was called Africa, it was separated in the country. It was conquered by a Roman general. That's why it's called Africa. A white man, a European man. That's why it's called Africa. Africa is not a black man's name. Right. You get what I'm saying? It was that's a that's a Roman, that's his, that's his, 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 his label. That's not that has nothing to do with us. Right. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show y'all who we are according to the Bible and how we know. Give me that Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. No, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Moses, are y'all familiar with Moses? Moses was speaking to the children of Israel after they came to the Red Sea. And the whole book of Deuteronomy, he's gonna be talking to the Israelites and explaining to them these things. Watch this read. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. It says, first of all, y'all holy unto the Lord thy God, meaning y'all are separate. Meaning y'all are different. Y'all bred different. Y'all made different. He said unto the Lord thy God, the creator of all things. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. He said, God chose the Israelites to be special people. To have special gifts and talents. To be leaders. To be trendsetters. I gave right. y'all these gifts. That's why everything we do, people mock us. Look at Johnny, look at, look at Johnny Dane. Who the, what Chinese person thought about making ice before we did? I just read. Unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So he said, I told y'all to be greater than all the other people on the face of the earth. But when we look at our conditions, are you from Oklahoma City? Where you from? Where? Dallas, Georgia. Oh, Dallas, 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 Texas. Okay, so what side of the city of Dallas you from? He's done it. It's probably the hood, ain't it? It's hood, hood, ain't it? So, why is it that our people always live and reside in the hood? Why we don't live where the sky surface is? Give me the Romans 28, 15. Why we don't live there? That's a, that's a, that's a million dollar question. Why can't we live where all our sky surface is at and they live over here where there's potholes in the road? Right. And these beat down gas stations that sell tobacco and alcohol all day. Why can't they stay over here and we live over there? It was by design. It's the reason that this happened. Watch this. Read 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So most of the Israelites, he said, if y'all don't obey what God says, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, if you don't do what, all these curses gonna come upon you and overtake you. What he said we don't do? He said if we don't keep the commandments, keep his laws and his statutes and do his faith, that these curses don't come upon them, right? Exactly. That's why he say laws, statutes, and commandments. Because when you hear commandments, you have the Ten Commandments. But when you read your Ten Commandments, do you read that a man got to keep a beard on his face in your Ten Commandments? But that's a law that you read in Leviticus. Does it, do you read that you have to have fringes on the border of your clothes with a ribbon of blue? But it's a, it's a law that's written in numbers. Right. These are statutes. These are the sub laws that fall under the umbrella of the Ten Commandments. All that falls under don't serve no other God, worship God. Don't serve no do what he say. Walk in his way. How you doing, bro? What's your name, bro? Roger. Roger. You from OKC? I'm gonna die. You from Mobile, Alabama? Let me ask you a question. Do you see a lot of black on black crime going on in, in the neighborhood? Do you see a lot of police brutality in the neighborhood? Do you do you agree with that? Do you like that? So, watch this. I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to finish that. I'm going to show you something real quick. So, we don't like the police killing us, and we don't like killing each other, right? So, why we kill ourselves? Who the first original 316? Why we kill ourselves? Bring it up. Do you know, you know where I'm going with that? Where I'm going with that? All right, I'm finna, I'm finna come up with it. I'm finna come up with it. Give me first original 316. Because we don't want to shoot each other. We don't like to see each other get shot down by the police, or we don't like to shoot each other. Come back, hey, don't, don't step in the road, don't get hit. Watch this, watch this, tell me what this means, read. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So it says your body is the temple of God. Right. Read. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the spirit of God is trying to dwell in the Israelite man. He's trying to use us. 
Watch this. Read. Verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, if any man defile the temple of God, his shall God destroy. Why do we smoke? Smoke, smoking. Why do we? Why do we kill our lungs? Do you know you're going black in your body by putting that in your lungs? You kill yourself. My auntie just died of from uh, uh, lung cancer. I'm smoking thirty something years, just collapsed. Didn't find out she had cancer until she was thirty four. Why do we kill ourselves? We don't like them killing us. We don't like seeing black and black crying, but we kill ourselves. Not even realizing I'm killing myself. We use because we go back to Deuteronomy 28. Because we go through the things that we go through in the, in the, unit, in the uh, community, we go through this oppression, we go through this, oh, my rent due, oh, all this stuff that we have to live with day to day, we try to use these different things to psych our mind out to shake us out of that mindset. We use weed. And then some people graduate and use coke. And then graduate and use crack. And then go to methamphetamine. They go to different types of drugs just to alter our mind so they won't have to think about this oppression that we deal with day to day. But that's not the cure to how we get over this. Right. What we're teaching is what we must do to get out of this. You get what I'm saying? Give, give me that Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Give me uh, a new day. Uh, 29. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. And thou shalt grow up a new day uh-huh. as the blind grow in darkness. So it's saying we're looking. We're trying to find a way. We're trying to find a way. But we result to the negative things. We result to drugs, alcoholism. All the stuff that we're not supposed to go through. We go through hatred because of envy. You know, we're not supposed to covet our neighbors. That's why we rob each other. Do you realize that we rob each other in the hood, but we'll never go to the people with the real money? Right. Don't nobody go rob the people with the real money. They rob the people in the hood that's, that's trying to make it just like you. Just like a donate though, your own people. You get what I'm saying? That people don't, people don't realize that. They, if, if, you under, if we understood that the laws of God is what, what keeps us in life, we understood that if we don't murder each other, if we love each other, if we help each other, if we don't sleep with each other's women, you know how much, you know how much prosperous we'll be? You know how effective we will be as a people? Do you know that if we all kept the Sabbath day where we're not supposed to buy and sell, do you know that the economy would crash? Who are they gonna sell to? We're the biggest consumers, who are they gonna sell to? If we keep that one law, the whole economy will crash. They'll go crazy, they won't know what to do. But by design, they make us work Monday through Friday, and on the Sabbath day, which is Saturday, they say, okay, we're gonna let y'all off so y'all go spend all y'all money and build this up. Nation is men leading by example. 